What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Living Your Best Life. It's me, Coach Adamir, and I'm really excited to talk to you all today about the benefits of fruit in your life. Now, I know some of you may think, as do many others, that fruits are not good for us due to the fact that they contain sugar. Look, I totally get it, and what I want to do with today's episode is clear that up, right? When you consume fruit, uh, I'm sorry, when you consume sugar from fruit, your body actually understands the chemical composition of it because it's in nature, right? And so it can break it down properly to use for energy. When you consume refined sugar, chemically processed sugar, the table sugar that we're used to seeing, our body can only convert that into storage. And when we store it, we store it as fat because it has no idea what it is, so it doesn't know what to do with it. Right, so it's just going to put it aside, store it as fat, and move on. Um, so basically what that comes down to is having whole natural foods in your diet versus processed foods in our diet. Okay, uh, Whole sugar, fruit sugar, is going to be way better for you than processed refined sugar. Okay, There's clearly only one winner when it comes to the type of sugar that we can consume. So the big question is fruit good or bad for you so let's just break it down fruits in and of themselves they are healthy okay they're real they're whole foods they're not processed they're found in nature they're convenient they're easy to prepare at times so it's easy to just kind of carry it with you it's a much better option when it comes to snacking um so it's going to be much more nutritious much more healthy for you they're high in vitamin and mineral content as well Um, And they're also going to make you feel full longer. All right, so we'll get into each of those and and why and how it's important. Um, And yes, they they do have higher sugar compared to other whole foods. In general, they're probably the only food with sugar, right? Uh, Apple's going to have more sugar than broccoli, clearly. I get that. So it makes you wonder if they're truly healthy at all because they have sugar right but not all sugar is bad okay so like i said earlier it really just depends on the source and the amount of your intake excess sugar is bad period Let, let's not let's not confuse that right so it doesn't matter how um where your sugar is coming from really it matters how much you're going to take as far as the amount of intake okay so not all sugar is bad and we're going to get into that and and where it comes from and where it's going to be the best option for you okay so excessive sugar is bad evidence shows that excessive intake of added sugar is harmful so your table sugar your high fructose corn syrup though things like that are both half glucose and half fructose okay so you get um a combination of both which we don't need as much fructose in our diets as much as glucose glucose is a, a, a the basic um, chemical compound of sugar fructose is a little more fatty so you're not going to want that as much all right the the um, excessive intake of sugar is, is when it becomes harmful right that that has negative metabolic effects um, when consumed in large amounts all right so what that leads people to believe is that because there is sugar in fruit fruits are also bad all right and that's the common misconception that I come across a lot with clients. I come across a lot um, in conversation with friends and family. It's a really common misconception, which I think is crazy because, you know, when we think about fruit, it, it you know, it grows in the ground, it grows on a tree, it's natural, it's whole, it's, it's always been around, right? So how can we see it as bad, all right? Um, when it comes to the intake being bad, it's fructose, right? As I, as I just said a few seconds ago, fructose is harmful in large amounts. And the thing about fruit is that you'd have to eat an obscene amount of fruit <laughs> to get the amount of fructose for it to be harmful. Okay, by the time you are able to eat that amount of fruit, you're probably too full to even consume it. Okay, so... There's just not enough fructose in fruits for it to be harmful to us. Just not biologically possible. All right. There's reasons why fruit is good for us. First, fruit contains fiber, water, and a significant chewing resistance, 
which I'll explain what that means more of later. So remember that chewing resistance. Um, but with fiber and water, eating whole fruit makes it almost impossible to consume the harmful amounts of fructose because of the amount of fiber. Right. So what that does is it slows down the metabolic process so that our liver doesn't just get a shock of sugar or a shock of fructose. Right. It's slowly digested so the liver can break it down one step at a time. OK, there's a lot of fruit and we'll use apples as an example because it's the most common one available. Those take a while to digest. All right. Meaning that that fructose is going to hit that liver a lot more slowly. Okay, and these are also incredibly filling, right? If you have ever been hungry midday before lunch or after lunch and you just want a nice little afternoon pick-me-up, grab an apple. I promise you, you're going to feel full. All right, and if you're worried about the sugar content of fruit, here's an example of sugar content between having an apple as a pick-me-up versus what I've seen most people grab is uh, like a can of soda or a bottle of soda, right? Because it has caffeine has that sugar that you're talking about and you're just gonna give you that little pick-me-up, right? However, apple has 23 grams of sugar, 13 grams of it are fructose. Okay, so just a little over half is fructose. We can digest that. Because of the fiber, you're gonna feel full and it's gonna slowly digest. Whereas if you were to get a soda, that has 52 grams of sugar and 30 grams of fructose. So double on both ends. And on top of that, you're not getting any nutrients, you're not getting any fiber, and you're not really getting any water with that. And then you're not going to be as satisfied as if you were to eat an apple. So what that means is even if you drink the soda as that pick-me-up, you're probably going to want to snack on something because you're not full. right? You just had a sugar bomb, but you didn't have any fiber. If you have that apple, you probably won't eat something after because you're going to be full. Okay? And then when it comes to that type of sugar, your, sh your, uh, your sugar, <laughs> your liver is going to metabolize sugar a lot differently. Okay, when fructose hits your liver in fast and large amounts, such as drinking a soda, it's going to have adverse health effects over time. All right, so that one soda today may not be as bad, but if you drink one soda every day for a year, you're going to see a significant difference in your health. Right, you're going to be probably more obese you're probably going to be less healthy um you know less vitamins and, and nutrients in your body all right and when sugar hits slowly and in small amounts like an apple because of the fiber because it has it takes time to digest your body is is more adapted to easily metabolize the fructose so it knows the chemical makeup of an apple versus the chemical makeup of a soda Right? That's not found in nature. That's not in our genetic code to break that down. Right? So refined sugar is really the main culprit here over just sugar. Right? So we kind of have to learn how to differentiate that and adjust our diets. Okay. The other thing you're going to find in fruits a lot is vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So I think you've kind of heard me mention it over these last few minutes, but these are nutrients that are important for your health right fiber vitamins minerals antioxidants other plant compounds like phytonutrients those are super essential for healthy cell function okay fiber has many health benefits such as reduced cholesterol levels we all hear it when we eat um you know oats are touted as a, as a great breakfast because of the fiber and it'll help reduce cholesterol levels right it'll also um, slow down the absorption of carbohydrates which means you're going to feel full longer and increase satiety so you won't eat something sooner than you need to. Right? So if you eat a bowl of oatmeal, you'll feel full longer. Right? If you eat a banana and an apple or an orange in the morning, you're going to feel full a lot longer so you won't pick up a snack um, that's full of sugar or full of carbohydrates so that you feel full. Okay, and, and on top of that, because you feel full longer and you eat less, natural byproduct of that is you're gonna, it's going to help you lose weight. Okay. And then when it comes to vitamins and minerals that are available in fruit, vitamin C, potassium, and folate are the ones that are most available in most fruit. Okay, so vitamin C is essential in the repair of tissue and the formation of collagen. 
Potassium is the essential mineral needed by all the tissues of the body. We all know bananas have potassium, oranges have vitamin C, right? And then folate is a natural form of vitamin B9. And B9 is, a help, is um, important for healthy cell function, for cell growth, um, all that, right? We need healthy cells to carry out the functions in our body so that we can hit, live healthy lives. All right, and if you're worried about, um, I don't know which fruits to eat for certain vitamins and minerals, just eat a variety of fruits and you're gonna be close enough in getting your vitamin and mineral intake, right? Just don't just eat apples, oranges, and bananas, whatever you're familiar with, right? Eat more exotic fruits too, like mangoes, pineapples, kiwis, dragon fruit. Um, I actually just ate papaya this morning and it's funny, I haven't had papaya since I was a little kid and I didn't like it as a kid and now, it's actually really good, you know, so try fruit too, right? You have to experiment with what works for you, with what works for your palate, what you like to eat. Um, focus on fruits with more skin, apples, mangoes, strawberries, blueberries, uh, blackberries, things like that. They have a lot of good fiber, a lot of good carbohydrate, a lot of nutrients are in the skin of fruit. Okay, so just eat a variety of fruits and try to find fruits that are in season in your local area. Okay, so don't Always, like I said, don't always just eat apples. Don't always just eat orange. Mix, this, mix it up so that you don't get bored and you have a variety and you don't feel like, oh, I'm just on a strict diet of eating apples and oranges. No, mix it up, all right? So if you're wondering about the actual health benefits of fruits, there are multiple observational studies that have shown people who eat more fruits and vegetables have a lower risk of various diseases. Okay, so there's one review of nine different studies that shows that a daily portion of fruit intake reduces the risk of heart disease by 7%. So just a serving of fruit throughout the day is gonna reduce your risk of heart disease by 7%. All right, and there's also another study that includes almost 10,000 adults, 9,600 adults, that finds a high fruit and vegetable intake was also associated with a 46% lower risk of diabetes. All right, so if you're, if you're worried about sugar intake from fruit, that kind of shows you that it's almost impossible to get too much sugar in fruit because you're lowering your risk of diabetes by almost 50%. So that should tell you something about how valuable fruit can be in your diet. All right, and then again, there are other studies that show eating fruits and vegetables are going to lower your risk of heart attack and stroke, which are the two leading causes of death in Western culture, in Western countries. We don't eat enough fruit on this side of the world, all right? We have to eat more fruit. And if you're worried about high sugar content, again, there's another study that shows how fruits affect the risk of type two diabetes. Those who consume the most grapes, apples, and blueberries had the lowest risk. And if you notice, I, earlier I mentioned finding fruits with more skin on them. Grapes, apples, and blueberries all have skin on them. They're, you know, the, the protective skin that has those nutrients. And blueberries actually had the strongest effect in lowering the risk of type two diabetes. Right. We all have heard about how blueberries are healthy with the antioxidant value as well, right? So add blueberries to your diet. Throw it in your oatmeal, throw it in the smoothie, grab a handful throughout the day. You can just snack on blueberries instead of snacking on jelly beans or Skittles or M&Ms, right? They're the same size. We can just switch it up. We have to make those changes, right? Because if you eat more fruit, you tend to be more health conscious, if you smoke and you eat more fruit, you tend to actually start smoking less and you are, end up starting to exercise more. You just you feel naturally healthier and more energetic by consuming whole fruits and vegetables. Okay? And when it comes to fruit, it's not just vitamins, minerals, and, and healthy eating, right? This is also going to help you lose weight. Because at the end of the day, fruits are incredibly filling. Right? You just heard me say I ate a papaya this morning. I had one papaya, and I'm, uh, that's all I've had for throughout the day. It's 12 in the afternoon, and I'm not really hungry. I don't feel like I need to eat anything right now, right? We, I, I've, it has excellent fiber and water content. 
And because I ate the whole thing and I chewed it all, I felt very satisfied. All right, it's extensive chewing means your um, your calming, your satiety function, right? Your 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 satiety function, where it's, it, it's a signal to your brain that says you're full. And because I chewed so much, obviously, yes, I'm full. Okay, and and if you're wondering, apples and oranges are gonna be the most filling. Right, so they're most available as well. So that's great, right? You can just go to the grocery store and grab a bag of apples or grab oranges. They're the most filling. So increase your apple and orange intake. And you're going to feel full longer. You're going to snack on. Uh, you're going to have um, less inclination to snack on junk food. Because you have fresh fruit available. Okay. So think about that right given this the the strong effects of fruit on your satiety on, on you feeling full and satisfied it seems kind of beneficial to replace your junk food drawer <laughs> your junk food pantry with with fruit to help you lose weight okay and when it comes to um like fruit juices and dried fruit and stuff like that those are i'm not gonna say they're bad you know it's a good alternative but i suggest eating more whole fresh fruit right well because while they still may be healthy there's a lot of juices on the market that aren't even real juice they're just water mixed with concentrate and a bunch of sugar so you it basically you're just having a sweetened beverage and you're mainlining sugar into your liver okay so whole fruit is still going to be better all right if you have orange juice with breakfast in the morning um don't stop doing that right because you're still consuming other food with it but don't replace eating fruit with just drinking fruit, okay? And same with dried fruits. The The reason dried fruits are um, a little less beneficial is first, they're easy to overeat because you can just grub, 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 right? They're easy to just grab and eat. So, um, and they're high sugar content because they're dry, they don't have enough water anymore. They have a higher sugar content, okay? Um, and with smoothies as well, like those are somewhere in the middle. Because you're throwing the whole fruit in the smoothie, you're still essentially consuming the fiber. You just don't have to chew it. So moderation with smoothies, all right? It's still better than drinking just juice, but you're still better off eating the whole fruit. So there you have it, my friends. Fruit consumption, when done correctly, can not only lower your risk of heart and other metabolic conditions, but it can also help you lose weight and curb your binge snacking all right so if you're trying to figure out what fruit should i eat what's different than apples and oranges and bananas like how can i mix it up i suggest going to a farmer's market in your area and finding what's grown locally and in season at the time all right because that's going to help you mix it up the most right when you know in the spring you have you know, more apples and oranges available. And then in fall, maybe you have more strawberries and blueberries and things like that available. So not only does it give you variety, but you get the whole spectrum of vitamins and nutrients as you're eating fruit throughout the season. All right. And yeah, sometimes it's going to take some time to prepare, right? Cutting the fruit and putting it in a bowl or packing it for work or for school and things like that. But the whole point is to learn and develop a better relationship with fruit and your eating habits so that you're more easily prepared for when you have those moments of I want a bag of chips or a bag of candy or something like that I just want to drink a soda right when we're better equipped and have that better relationship we make better choices all right so I I really hope this helps you understand how much fruit can benefit you and that you realize before the convenience of grocery stores and and fast food and having storage available like that our ancestors foraged for fruits vegetables and nuts and animals right so fruit has always been a part of our diet we didn't have refined sugar two thousand years ago and so our bodies have become adapted physiologically to break down sugar in fruit much better than sugar from a lab okay so thanks again for joining me you guys i i really hope you learned something new today i really hope you're not afraid of adding fruit in your diet and thinking that 
it's going to be bad for you. Okay. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I post weekly content. I have live videos as well where I, I kind of talk about and recap the podcast from the week. So, um, I'll be talking about fruit this week. <laughs> so tune in. If you have any questions, you guys feel free to message me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. It's at coach Adamir. You can email me as well. My email is on my Instagram. It's adamir.minetos at amfitnessnutrition.com. Um, if there's anything you'd like to hear on the podcast, you know, if there's anything you'd like me to cover, I'd be more than happy to do that. I'm open to suggestions as well. I want to hear what you guys want to learn. I want to hear what you guys want to know about. Um, so message me, reach out, don't be shy. All right. So remember you guys have a great week, love yourself, and please go be the best version of yourself. Bye.